Good morning to my fourth and fifth graders. As you all know, we are doing lesson five today. Um, it says 3-18-2020 on your packet. Um, and as you know, we are in the amusement park unit. So our subject will be physics today. Um, let's go ahead and skip to our essential question on the second page of the lesson plan where it says, um, how can we use creative problem solving or scamper to improve a product? How do roller coasters demonstrate the three laws of motion? And remember when we did the three laws of motion, when we used the foam and you guys stood on the tables and the chairs and we used the marble. So we talked about the law of motion and all of that good stuff. Okay. Um, go down to the suggested vocabulary. I want you guys to define those one, two, three, four, five terms and three of them, law of motion, the second law of motion, the third law of motion, all of those, you guys have already done those. But to refresh your memory, since you are at home, go ahead and define those vocabulary terms. And going back to our essential question, we know that the essential questions are the things that you should be able to answer by the end of this lesson, okay? So... I actually had a STEM activity for this. If you have a plastic cup, plastic or paper cup, some string and water at home, you can actually do this. It gives you the instructions one, two, and three, where you will poke two holes on the sides of the cup, um, about one inch down from the top. You would then tie the ends of the string through the holes in the cup so that they can hold the top of the string. You can hold the top of the string and the cup can hang with 16 inches below. So if you have like a solo cup, the red cups, any type of paper or plastic cup, you can do this. Fill it about one fourth full of water. Go outside. Oh, I like this experiment. This is the one where we're going to swing it around. And then you got to figure out if the water is going to come out or not. This is actually a cool experiment. So if you have your younger siblings, go ahead and do that with them as well. Okay. The next thing you're going to do after you do your experiment, okay, I want you to share your results. Um, write down what happened. Journal what happened when you took it outside um, and go outside, which you really don't have to. But uh, remember when we did the um, law of motion and we realized the faster that the marbles went, the more it could go in that loop. This is kind of the same type of experiment. So go ahead. The faster you do it you'll see if it works or not, okay? But make sure your string is, is secure on your cups, all right? So after you do that, we're going to go down to the task where the student will use creative problem-solving strategy, which is scamper to improve a roller coaster ride. So we're going to read the Anaconda Mystery. After we read that, you're going to um, write down, typically we would discuss with our partners, but instead of discussing with your partners, I want you to just simply write down um, possible reasons why the ride is not working and write a hypothesis. You uh, may remain, I'm sorry, you may remind, oh, I want you to go back and look at your three laws of motion while we're doing this, okay? As well as referring back to the marble simulation. All righty, so... Basically, in your lesson plan, you have everything that you need. You have examples. You have, um, I want you guys to show or create that roller coaster ride yourselves. Um, and it has some examples here in the lesson. All right. So, everything you need is right here the Anaconda Scamper. You have all the materials necessary to complete this activity. And this one basically is, is a STEM activity, it's fun. You have all your resources. If you need any assistance with this, feel free to contact me. You can email me um, on, our, on my website, www.drruckersrockstars.weebly.com. I have also placed the Google contact information so you guys can call me and you can let me know how it works. Again, have fun with this. I want you to write down um, or journal your experience. And yeah, stay safe. If you have any questions, um, contact me.